Welcome to the Independence Day edition of our weekly hometown news. I am Amy cutright Clausen, your guest host for today. Today is July 4th, 2020. This is a live studio view of our City Park Square at about 6.30 p.m. The sky is partly cloudy with big fluffy cotton ball clouds. Winds are out of the east-northeast at 7 miles per hour and gusts at 11 miles per hour. The temperature is a balmy 89 degrees. SSC TV3 is more than news. We have been televising news, events, and archives that are the lifeblood of the St. John community for more than 40 years. And at the present time, we have 403 subscribers and 875 videos on YouTube. These are the features that will be on the show today. Time and Temp Tuesday, Wheatfield Fire, Dispatcher Doubleheader, and Fountain Moves On. We televise this program live at 6.30 p.m. on Saturdays and upload it to YouTube right after the show. Occasionally, due to program conflicts, the news will be delayed or rescheduled. If you miss the show, you can still watch it at your convenience at ssctv3.org. Please share our news, features, and programming on your social media. This will help us grow and enable us to serve you better. We also welcome press releases. Just bring them by the studio or send them to ssctv3 at gmail.com. If you would like to be a sponsor of our news or governmental telecasts, come by the studio and we will set you up. Your advertisement will run on the governmental telecasts, TV3 News, and the TV3 Bulletin Board, which runs 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Here now are some of our sponsors. Please let them know that you appreciate their support of our local news. And now for some USD 350 school announcements. The commencement ceremony for the class of 2020 will be held Saturday, July 11th at 10.30 a.m. at the football field. The number in attendance will not be limited. The contingency plan for rain will be to move to the main gym with limited numbers. Watch Facebook or check the school website for updates as the day approaches. There are two full-time positions available for the 2020 2021 school year. First is a Spanish language aid. The duties will include supervising and assisting with online Spanish classes and providing translating and interpreting services for the district. No license is required. The second position is a cook in the food service department. Summer hours are usually available but not required. Go to usd350.com or contact the district office with questions or to get an application. Breakfast and lunch for USD 350 students are now being served in the school cafeteria. Breakfast will be served from 8 to 8.30 a.m. and lunch will be served from 12 noon to 12.30 p.m. Carryout is available for both breakfast and lunch. Pickup for these meals will be in the cafeteria. You can also eat in the cafeteria for lunch and take a breakfast to go for the next day. Any adult bringing children to eat or to pick up meals may also eat for free. This meal program will continue through July 17th. 
The St. John Hudson Community Enrichment Foundation, operating as Tigertown Pizza, is offering three $1,500 college scholarships for upperclassmen for the 2020-2021 school year. Interested applicants should be a graduate of St. John Hudson Schools, a second, third, or fourth year college student at an accredited university or technical school, enrolled in at least 12 hours for each of the fall 2020 and spring 2021 semesters, and have maintained at least a C average for completed courses to date. Submit applications and copies of transcripts to Kyle Bunker at the St. John National Bank of Kansas in St. John. Applications are due by Friday, July 10th. Applications are on the Tigertown Pizza Facebook page. Mother Nature and Father Time teamed up to help St. John set an early summer record. The temperature for Tuesday was predicted to be very high. When TV3 arrived on the square to document St. John's possible record summer high, the bank's time and temperature sign displayed 104 degrees. But before the camera could get set up, the sign displayed 105 degrees. After waiting for about 45 minutes to see if the temperature would hit 106, the sign reverted back to 104. We will eagerly await the next record high. And now for some city announcements. An ordinance providing for and requiring the numbering of residential, commercial, and industrial buildings located in the corporate limits of the City of St. John is now in effect. Home and business owners may turn in their addresses on a form prepared by the city staff to City Hall and the City of St. John will provide numbers free of charge. This offer will end July 31st. Citizens may pick up a copy of the complete ordinance at the city office or view it online on the City of St. John's Facebook page. The city office is now open to the public. There is a limit of one person at a time in the office. Please stay at least six feet away from the employees. If you have symptoms, do not enter the office. In the event of a tornado, the community room of the Ida Long Memorial Library, located at 4th and Monroe, is a designated shelter. If you bring pets, bring them in carriers. Field on fire? Who are you going to call? Not Ghostbusters. Your volunteer county firefighters. The following is the official report posted on Facebook. Fire at the 700 block of Northwest 10th Avenue. Crews from St. John responded to the report of a wheat field on fire. Crews arrived on scene and extinguished the fire. It was found that a bad bearing on one of the combines cutting in the field had caused the fire. No injuries or incidents occurred." End quote. This report sounds like just another run, no big deal. But a cash crop turned into an ash crop is a big deal. Only a few acres were lost and most of the field was saved. Several other close uncut fields were also removed from danger. At times like this, our volunteer firefighters are worth their weight in gold. Dispatch all 420 units will be in route back to the station. Copy 
And now for some announcements from around the square. Street signs are now available at the city office. Stop in and get the sign you want for only $10. Proceeds go to the Jubilee Fund. The Farm and Art Market is now open and will be open through the month of August every Thursday from 4 to 6 p.m. on the east side of the square. Applications to participate are available at the K-State Extension Office at 210 East 3rd by calling 620-549-3502 or by email at acollins at ksu.edu. With so much attention being given to cops and firefighters, let's not forget the ones who send them to the right place at the right time. On Wednesday at 9th and Prairie, there was a ditch and stubble fire. It was quickly extinguished by the city fire department. But what made this incident a bit different was that the dispatcher was also handling an accident between a wheat truck and a semi south of Zenith on Highway 50. Five tractor trailer truck is on the road, trailer is in the ditch, still upright, fifth wheel is broke, so we're going to need something else to pull the trailer, and also we're going to need both trucks to remove this thing out the ditch, he is loaded with 40,000 pounds, if you have any questions, then call my phone. We ask our populace to be patient with us for a rerun, we're having a little bit of some technical difficulties, so give us one moment please. On Wednesday at 9th and Prairie, there was a ditch and stubble fire. It was quickly extinguished by the city fire department. But what made this incident a bit different was that the dispatcher was also handling an accident between a wheat truck and a semi south of Zenith on Highway 50. Five tractor trailer truck is on the road, trailer is in the ditch, still upright, fifth wheel is broke, so we're going to need something else to pull the trailer, and also we're going to need both trucks to remove this thing out the ditch, he is loaded with 40,000 pounds, if you have any questions, then call my phone. 320 dispatch, we'll get this fire out, be here mopping up for a few minutes. And now for some announcements from the county. The Stafford County Hospital is looking for a night shift RN. Competitive wages and benefits are included. To apply, send resume to Director of Nursing Nikki Pretorius at Stafford County Hospital, P.O. Box 190, Stafford, Kansas 67578. Phone is 620-234-5221 or fax to 620-234-5792. Stafford County Hospital is an equal opportunity employer. The Stafford County Commissioners at the July 1st meeting voted not to mandate that masks be worn in Stafford County. The Commissioners are by no means making light of COVID-19. They simply believe that this is a choice that should be left up to each individual. Please use common sense. Use masks, hand sanitizer, wash hands often, and social distance when necessary. 
If you or your child need immunizations, call the Stafford County Health Department at 620-549-3504 to schedule an appointment. Poll workers are needed for the upcoming August 4th election. Contact Nita Keenan, Stafford County Clerk, at 620-549-3509 if you are interested. These are the following local races. Dallas D. Wolf and Todd Wyckoff are running for County Commissioner District No. 2. Tyler Axman, Bryce Garner, and Doris Tompkins are running for County Commissioner District No. 3. Robert Murrow and Aaron Rudy are running for Stafford County Sheriff. Due to COVID-19, the Stafford County Fair will be a 4-H only fair this year. There will be no open class. The Market Wheat Show, Bake Fest, and the Pedal Pole are still available to enter. There will be no demolition derby this year, but there will be a rodeo on Saturday, July 11th at 7 p.m. An all-ages concert will be held Saturday, July 18th with Hunter Hathcote as the headliner. This concert is free with fair admission. Here now are more of our sponsors. Please let them know that you appreciate their support of our local news. Some public service announcements. The Michael Finsky Memorial Tournament will take place Saturday, August 8th in Hudson. Please let Kristen Ray know if you want a shirt. TV3 does not have a contact number for her at this time. White's Food Liner is looking for part-time and full-time employees. Apply online at whitesfoodliner.com. White's Food Liner is also introducing online shopping called Grocery Go. It will have the same great selection and same great pricing as in the store, including ad pricing. Shop in the comfort of your home or on your phone. It will use the same login and password as your mobile app. Pick up your groceries or get them delivered within the city limits. The pickup fee will be waived during the COVID-19 crisis. There will be a lot of upgrades in the coming months, including dedicated parking spaces for pickup, Full integration with the mobile app. Meal solutions for one price, Taco Night 1999. More digital coupons for purchases online. Extra deli meals for to go lunches and dinners. Partnerships with other vendors to offer more than food products. Rewards through app synced with online shopping, such as free milk, bread, and rotisserie chicken. Go to whitesfoodliner.com to start saving time. Four Star Hydroponics is seeking a part-time delivery driver. The applicant needs to have an excellent driving record, be attentive to detail, and be energetic and friendly. A company vehicle is provided. Hours are approximately 5 a.m. to 2 p.m. Send resume to fourstargreenhouse at outlook.com. The following is a list of activities sponsored by the Sunflower Senior Center. The Senior Salad Supper will be on Monday, July 6th at 6 p.m. Bring a salad or dessert. On Monday, July 13th from 8.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. there will be donuts and coffee. On Thursday, July 23rd, the Brunch Bunch will travel to Joann's and Stafford. The bus will leave the Witt Center at 8.30 a.m. Following brunch, the bus will stop at Stafford's Variety Store. Just a reminder, there is no air conditioning on the bus. On Wednesday, July 29th, there will be bingo from 1.30 p.m. to 3 p.m. Bring a candy bar to play. Refreshments will be provided. There will be a grand prize for blackout. On Monday, August 3rd, there will be a hamburger and hot dog feed at 6 p.m. Meat will be provided. 
bring a side dish or dessert. The lobby at Stafford County Drug is now open during regular business hours. Please respect other patients while in the lobby and feel free to still use the drive through and delivery options. If you have any questions, please call 620-377-5633. The drugstore will also be giving away free school supplies to all pre-K through sixth grade students for the next school year for the Maxville, Stafford, and St. John schools. More details will follow. The Ida Long Goodman Library is now open to the public. Just inside the front door are instructions for keeping patrons safe during this time of the coronavirus. The hours are Monday through Thursday from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Friday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. The library will be closed on Saturday and Sunday. The Kansas Commission of Veterans Affairs Office will not be serving itinerants the rest of the year at Ida Long Goodman Memorial Library. If veterans in St. John need assistance, they can call their Veteran Service Representatives, Pilar Cordes, at 620-665-8647 or Tim Gaynor at 620-662-7131 to schedule an apartment. White's Food Liner is looking for part-time and full-time employees. Apply online at whitesfoodliner.com. The Fountain Project is reaching the finish line. In no time at all, there will be dazzling, dripping, and dancing water. On Wednesday, it appeared that St. John was visited by someone from another world. But instead of a spaceship in the square, there was just a sandblasting truck parked on the south side of the square. According to one of the workers, the black rubbery coat in the fountain bowl was removed earlier in the day by means of a hot air gun, scraping, and grinding. TV3 was not witness to this, but did arrive in time to capture the final cleaning performed by sandblasting. Although this video cannot give you the actual sound of the sandblaster, the sound was beyond deafening. On Thursday, the workers returned to apply the first coat of the sealer. The cooler weather was greatly appreciated. The Warren Brothers crew returned on Friday to put the final coat of sealer on the bowl. The fountain project is nearing completion. If all goes well, sparkling water will soon be pleasing our citizens and impressing our visitors. Well, I think that's the end. Please help our channel better serve you with quality and informative programming. We have a lot of good stuff happening in our area, and our goal is to bring these activities to those who cannot attend. If you have items that need to be announced on TV3, or you have an event that would benefit from video coverage, we would like to hear from you. Please contact us by coming by the station, by emailing ssctv3 at gmail.com, or by calling 620-253-0037. Give us a little notice and we will be there. Also, do not forget that the TV3 bulletin board is available for classified advertising. Your ad will run 24-7 on the local cable system as well as the SSC TV3 YouTube channel. Join us again next Saturday evening at 6.30 p.m. for another edition of the TV3 News. All of us at SSC TV3 wish you a happy, healthy, and safe 4th of July, and God bless America. Keep us informed, and we will keep you informed.